We're here today to visit the Fenwick Pier. This pier used to be the docking place of many of the ships that visited Hong Kong in the past. It also has a fleet arcade, which is an arcade that has served many of the servicemen who visited Hong Kong. This structure will be taken down next year in 2022 to make way for a fire station. It is now completely landlocked because of the building of the Central Wan Chai Bypass. So let's go inside and have a look. Things are just all over the place. And interestingly, some of the uh, old counters are still there for hotel bookings and tours. This is certainly something that uh, I have not seen recently in Hong Kong. The decor is completely out of modern standards. Well, certainly did not expect to see a rickshaw. Haven't seen it for at least a decade. I have to say that this place is actually in a very dilapidated condition. Uh, you can see that the world clock is no longer there except for some of the name place, New York, San Diego and Hong Kong. And there's really nobody visiting this place at all. So this is a store that sells houseware. Um, not too sure if <laughs> servicemen actually wants that. It looks like it's not even intended for servicemen anymore. This is a really old school barbershop. It says uh, it's a barbershop and hairdressing. The cost of getting a haircut is $100 for males. That's uh, not a bad bargain. On the walls here, it's got uh, some of the gifts from visiting ships. This is the bottom one is from the Ronald Reagan back in 2008. And next to all that are chairs no longer in use and shopping carts from nowhere. The elevator is actually out of service. I'm going to a second. So this is interesting. Members only policy will be strictly enforced due to visiting US Navy ships. That's a bit difficult nowadays because uh, US Navy ships is not that common visiting Hong Kong. Some of these shops are actually vacated and unoccupied. So this is called the Fu Sheng and Sons. It has a very long history. It says here that uh, it has won the Asian Master Tailors Award back in 1977. It's a very large tailor. And actually sells other stuff as well in the same shop. Very odd. It's got liquor as well. So this is basically it for the second floor. So this shop is called BOG Hong Kong. It's really not clear what it's selling anymore. It's just a mix of everything. Um, by Western standards, it seems to be a garage sale. So originally before I came here, I was uh, sad to see that this place will be taken down, but it has lost all its grandeur. And it's hard to imagine whether any serviceman would actually want to visit here anymore. I mean, check this place out. All the paint has come off. So it looks like this is actually the main entrance to the Fleet Arcade. It is facing west and you can all see that uh, there are many modifications that has been made to this building 
and the condition is really poor. And this is against the background of the modern buildings behind it in Admiralty. So this is actually the main entrance to the complex. I can see its attractiveness in the past. It's got a relatively wide staircase. And for safety, it's got gates, which no longer work, obviously. So the last time they've actually updated this information was back in 2011 by the Hong Kong Tourism Board. It has the prices to different places in Hong Kong. These stores are classic. They look like they are from the 50s or 60s. Been a nice visit today. I hope everyone will have a chance to visit if you're interested before it gets taken down. It's a very important piece of Hong Kong history and I'll see you next time.